from what I've seen from James Tour, I remain wholly unconvinced that the field of origin of life research is completely clueless. How about the complex mixtures of, of molecules that are coming from asteroids, from meteorites? And we can see that the likes of um, some amino acids can be found naturally in, crazily enough, meteorites. With apologies, space trash. They contain a very large number of compounds, hundreds of thousands, maybe even millions of compounds. And so they're very, very diverse. It's just an interesting side note that you can get all of these components together at the same time in a prebiotic earth. Those are useless. If you want to start going to the next stage of the chemistry where you're starting to string building blocks together, you've got something very dilute, has to react with something else very dilute to make the next product. In the presence of thousands or hundreds of thousands of other compounds, each of which could react with your two building blocks. So it just makes the subsequent synthetic chemistry very difficult. She can explain to me what parts of the origin of life she feels that we're not clueless on. I would be glad to engage with her on that because she was the one who made those comments.